Welcome back to Dyson with Debt. In a moment, one of these poor students will pay off their year's debt, all on the throw of this lucky lady of fortune, the Dice. There it is. Let's recap on the prizes for a second. Tom has three prizes. Lonnie has five prizes. Tim has yet to gain a prize. But don't worry, because it's all going to change. Before the break, we were playing with a six-sided dice that gave you the chance to win one prize, two prizes, or three prizes. But now, we've upped the ante a little bit. I've put some danger into the dice. As well as winning a prize, you might have to give all your prizes to the person on your left. That is an option. Or give all your prizes to the person on your right. Or steal all of someone else's prizes. Changes on the way. Let's play a little bit more. Give and take. <laughs> Nonny, you answered last before the break, so if you could choose a category. Friends. Friends. Please. Lisa Kudrow just missed out on the part of Ross Doyle in which other hugely successful American comedy? Tim. Fraser. Fraser, that is correct, yes. Well done, well done. Well done. Throw the dice. Come on. Come on, he urges the dice. Tim. Yeah. Oh! Yes, that is the result for Tim. He can steal all of someone else's prizes. So there, it's your call. The experimental physicist ponders the logic of the situation. <laughs> Splendid judgment sorry, from Tim. Well, well, it was sorry. the UFO that did it, wasn't it? You saw that UFO, I'm afraid. There you go, Tom, if you could sorry, give well. your prizes. Exchange the UFO. <laughs> Gives up his name. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> called Tom anymore, I'm finished. The scooter, the UFO, the expression we've seen, bad luck, mate. It can all change still. Tim, you choose the next category. Uh, premium bonds, please. Premium bonds. Which steel nashed adversary of James Bond? Tim. Jaws. I was going to continue. Shares a name with a famous cinema fish. The answer is Jaws. Well done. How the game was turned. You are Tim, you can me. now steal all of someone's prizes, as Tom has no prizes at all. <laughs> there you go. Nonny, sorry, if you could there. Give your prizes to Tim. Tim look at Tim now. Look at him See, now. Better, How the game can turn. The shirt does look better now, Tim. <laughs> sure, but as it is. A remote control UFO, an express machine, and Cleethorpes, and breakfast with Lorraine Kelly, which you obviously don't know what to do with. <laughs> we have two questions left. Tim, it's your call. Puppets, please. Puppets. Fingers on buzzers. In Sesame Street, who shares a bed with Ernie? <laughs> Lonnie. Bert. Bert is correct, yes. <laughs> Now's your chance. Will the dice reward you? The pink podium princess does a little <laughs> shuffle and throws two prizes. Two prizes for Nonny. Nonny wins. One interrail pass around Europe. That's a good prize. She also wins an electric blanket. <laughs> you could do the honours with the last category in mm. this, the second oh, round. Old jobs, please. Old jobs. Who was the former lead singer of punk band Jet Bronx and the Forbidden? and is now the host of MasterChef. Tom. Is it Lloyd Grossman, Paul? It is Lloyd Grossman, yes. Well done, well done. You were quick on that buzzer. You were very quick on that buzzer. Can he turn it round, Tom, on this, the last throw of the second round? No, he can't, because that means that you give all your prizes to the person on your right. You have no prizes. Which means at the end of the questions, we have Tom with no prizes, we have Nonny with two prizes, and Tim adorned with prizes. <laughs> the choice is very simple, Tim. You can keep your prizes and go home, or give me your prizes and go through to the next round and gamble for your year's debt. It's your call, Tim. What do you think? What do you think? Remember, Tim, remember, if you go through to the next round, you have a 50-50 chance of losing everything. It's pure luck on the next round. Tim, it's only your call. Well, it looks like Tim's going to gamble. He's going to gamble. We have a gambler. Nonny, again, it's your call. You have an interrail pass uh, around Europe. You have an electric blanket. I don't know how much that means to you. <laughs> you have the same choice as Tim. You can keep the prize and go home and give me the prizes. Go through to the next round. Play for years, debt. There's Tom. There's Tom with nothing. Money toying with us. I think we know what you're going to do. Go big or go home. I'm gambling. She's going to gamble. She has to gamble. She has to gamble. Which means 
sadly, it's farewell to Tom. Bad luck, mate. Bad luck, mate. Bad luck. So close. Goodbye to Tom. If we could have... If we could have a little bit of hush now as I present to you the Dicing with Debt head case. There it is. <laughs> Nonny, what was your debt when you arrived this evening? £3,635. Here we have it in cash for you, £3,635. It looks like a lot of money, doesn't yeah. it? Do you want to have... Just, just yeah. To, there it is. For, the, the, oh. She smells it, smells the debt. Yeah, it does, it suddenly seems there is a lot of money there. Tim, your debt this evening was? Same, three and three thousand. Exactly the same as none is. Three thousand six hundred and thirty-five pounds. There it is on the table. It's real. Listening to it there. Twenty pounds. Yeah, that's right. That's, there we, it is all there. In a moment, one of you will have won that debt in cash using this dice, which, to ensure fairness, has this week been chosen by Billy Verth, house steward at Harriet Watt University. <laughs> so get your mates down. Let's play dice and with debt. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Money, I come to you. If you could pick three numbers and place them upon the bandana, any order you'd like. Just random numbers. Maybe some superstition involved. You never know, do you? Never know. Toying with it. If you can now turn the bandana over so that Tim cannot see those numbers. Tim, I give this to you now. If you could place that bandana upon your head. It's kind of sad, can you? <laughs> The bandana is on Tim's forehead. If you could repeat the process, is it? Yep. The <laughs> bandana <laughs> is secured. That looks so cool. You do look cool. If you could repeat the process for Nonny. Three numbers totally at random. A theory of numbers. If you could now turn the bandana over so that Nonny can't see the numbers. Nonny, if you could now place that bandana on your forehead. The Madonnas are secured. If you could turn around and show your numbers now to the audience. Your friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Taking it in turns, you have to roll the numbers upon your opponent's head to try and knock them off. The last one standing with the number still on their head goes home with their debt cleared. Tim, you had most oh. prizes. You sacrificed most to be in this round. So you roll first. Good luck, both competitors. Johnson, Johnson, you're looking to knock one of those numbers off. Tim Rolls. No, he hasn't. He has not. Nonny, now's your chance. You're looking for one of three numbers. One of three numbers for Nonny. Can she? No. Tim, there you go. Looking for one of three numbers. Tim, the physicist, spins the dice. He has! Jump off. Tim, remember that you've earned the right to throw again. If you throw your own number upon your second throw, you knock your number off and not your opponent's. It's your call, Tim. You feeling lucky? No! Oh, yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's a gambler. Tim is a gambler. Oh, he's, he's going, going to, to lose. You're not. You are not. Tim throws the dice. Yes, he's got... No! Oh, oh you knocked your own number off your second throw. There we go. Tim there. It's all evens. As it was your second throw, you've knocked your own number off and not your opponent's, which means Nonny escapes there for second. <laughs> Nonny, your throw, one and two numbers. Has she? <laughs> she has, indeed. One numbers comes to Tim's forehead. Nonny, as you've earned the right to throw again, this is your second throw. That means if you roll your own number, you knock yours off and not Tim's. It's up to you. It's your call. You're feeling lucky? You're on a roll. You're potentially one throw away from £3,635. She's going to throw again. She's going to throw again. Noni, does she? You've knocked one of your own numbers off. You have lost your own number. 
There we go. You've knocked oh, your three no. off, which means, Tim, you escaped that. You have escaped. You are both now in the same situation. One number upon your bandana. Tim, now's your chance. One throw. £3,635, a one in six chance. He kisses the dice. Will it work? Come on! This is his throws. Will he? No. Nonny escapes there, which means the dice is in your hands. Nonny, one throw away from £3,635, a one in six chance. Nonny throws. She throws. She's won! You are tonight's winner. There it is, £3,635 in cash tonight for Nonny. Her debt is cleared. That's it for tonight. Join us next time with the six more students fighting with debt. Good night! And if you're a student who's currently dicing with your own debt, there's a Channel 4 handbook with lots of crucial tips and advice. For a copy, call 0906 520433. Calls cost £1.50. Dicing with debt next week is at the earlier time of 11.55. Hanky's at the ready next. There's an emotional goodbye 